<laughs> and for the last eight years, nine years, it's been about the same. Yeah. Convince you going to shoot my, that buck. I got my first buck because Reader passed on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said that one's for Chad. Yeah. Yeah, you but we were exactly we were that. sitting right in sundry on that cut line waiting. Yeah. We heard in the bushes, and I'm like, Thomas, get your gun ready. You can cross it. You got to shoot it. Yeah. And it's like half hour before dark. Like we're <clears> getting close to trouble finding a deer. It. It hits across that line and you just Let bam it yeah it, it was go. moving when i got it like just yeah. moving really slow but man i that was actually one of my favorite hunting memories because i remember we, <clears throat> we shot it we left it for a little bit and then uh we went the out whole the crew dark. met up and then we went to go track where it went and it was getting dark and we had a couple of a couple of headlamps on us on us but i don't think everybody had one <clears throat> and we were just about to leave it for the morning and then you spotted it. Yeah, John spotted, spotted, spotted it. it. Yeah. And then it was like this moment of just a pure elation. Like <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, yeah. A lot of high and fives. And then two, high of us, fives, lot of hugs for yeah. two of us stood ready with guns in case the grizzlies came by while the other guys did. Yeah, that was, <laughs> <laughs> that was terrifying spooky. hike out yeah. with the deer. Because there was a lot of grizz around there that year. Out there, yeah. Yeah. And wolves had the baiting pile come up. I don't yeah, know who here I'm 12 years old. I remember my uncle... And my cousins and my grandpa, all living in Saskatchewan, hunted every year. And growing up my whole life, all I'd hear about is these hunting stories with these amazing animals shooting beautiful moose and deer. And, and it was just always something I wanted to do. Yeah. And it just took the right moment of somebody saying, hey, yeah. you want to hunt? Like, why, yeah. don't you, why don't you hunt? Well, what, 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 I, I, what, what does that mean? What does that take? What do I have to do? Yeah, you have yeah. to get a gun. You have to get some clothes. You have to get... And uh, I, had, I had a buddy that was working for me at the time. And he he ended up giving me his old boots. <laughs> he ended up giving me his old camel jacket. He ended up giving me all this stuff just to get me hunting that year. And yeah. then literally held my hand the entire first year. Every time he went out, I went out. And that's that's how I got into hunting. It was crazy. I learned. I think I'd learned. i say on my first year, that one that we were talking about that Owen passed on, I'd probably been out. I think that was my third year hunting, wasn't it? Was that at Red Deer River? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was my third year hunting. So I just walked around the bush for you do it, for two and a half seasons Gun before hunting. I got before I got that deer. That's right. Jesse, what about you, man? Like you you were out of hunting for a bunch of years, and then you got yeah got back into it. Why do you what what got you back into it? Probably the biggest point, as I've always said, is just spending time with my dad. And now that I have a two year old son, hopefully to be able to. Like bring him up in that way too. Hopefully he appreciates it more than I did. 